Fox 26 News at 5 begins with those red light cameras, the ones that are now working again, watching for violators. Good evening, everyone. I'm Melinda Spaulding. And I'm Tom Ziska. Tens of millions of dollars generated by those cameras promised to Houston area hospitals. Now that the cameras have been up for years, people are asking, where is all that money? Fox 26's Isaiah Carey is live in the Texas Medical Center area with the story you'll see only on Fox tonight. Isaiah. Well, Melinda and Tom, you can remember back when the lottery first came to Texas, many people thought that money from the lottery would go straight into education. It didn't quite work out that way. And many people People were promised that the money that would go into red light cameras, some of that money would go to some hospitals. It's not going that way either. Red light cameras were sold to Houstonians with three key benefits. Number one, public safety. Number two, the cameras would generate money for first responders. And number three, pump millions into Houston area level one trauma centers. Can be going after a motor vehicle. There were even commercials like this. It proclaims red light cameras provide millions in support for hospitals. That money would kick in where there is no insurance. As we know, a lot of our people in the city of Houston utilize the emergency. Rooms. But Fox 26 News has uncovered documentation showing hospitals are not getting as much money as promised. They're really being sold a bill of goods. They're being lied to. State records show the city of Houston sent more than $39 million in red light camera revenue to the state since the program started in 2007. That money was supposed to be distributed to level one trauma centers in our area. But documents from the state health department show Houston hospitals have only received one payment in 2009 for eight million dollars that's it and no new payments are scheduled through 2013 I think it's an unfair just service to the taxpayers here in Houston the medical center is in council member Wanda Adams district she says she supported red light cameras because of the support for trauma centers now she wants to know where the money is you put it in a trust factor now to say can the taxpayers trust the state with the money that the city of Houston allocates so what happened to that remaining $31 million generated by red light cameras in Houston and sent to the state. The Comptroller's Office tells Fox 26 the legislature did not allocate any of the money after 2009. That means it sits in the general fund and there are no plans to send it to local trauma centers anytime soon. Paul Kubosh fought against red light cameras. He's not surprised at the information uncovered by Fox 26. He says city leaders should have have made it clear how the money would be spent. The ball was dropped when the legislation was drafted. They could have put mandatory language that would have required the money to come back to the city, or even better yet, they could have had the money go straight from the city to the medical center. Now, we placed a call to Mayor Anise Parker's office about this problem, and they are very aware of it. However, they have not returned our calls as of yet with a response on the issue. Tom? So, Isaiah, what do the hospitals have to say about this lack of cash? Well, Tom, we had a chance to speak with representatives from some of the local hospitals, and they did not, did not want to go on camera about this issue because many of them came forward supporting this effort, and now they're not getting their money. But once again, we tried to get them to go on camera. They said it was too political, and so they're staying away from it. They're just hoping they get their money. Well, it'll be interesting to see when the rest of these parties weigh in. Isaiah Carey, live in the medical center tonight. Thanks, Isaiah.